See, we are always thinking of changing the system. I am not saying it should not, it should. But within the existing systems, we can do many things. Depending upon the individual teachers and individual educators, how they operate. Because when you try to change the system in your own time, when you want to change the system, you must understand any system. Even within the family, if you want to change the system, it will take many years. It's not going to change overnight. Sometimes a generation has to pass as for it to change. To walk into your house with your shoes on, one generation has to pass, isn't it? <laughs> so, instead of thinking how to change the system, yes, we must have the vision of changing the system, but within the system, how to do the maximum delivery is something that all of us should always look at. Otherwise, we are always talking about future generations without addressing the current generations. It'll never work that way. It'll only be a dream. We have to make the difference in the current generation. Only then, if you take a small step now, the next generation will take a bigger step. But without taking this step, we are dreaming of a big step, it will not happen. It will be just an idea which will not work. So, as an educator, you mentioned the word meditation. We must understand this, what meditation means. The word meditation, the English word meditation doesn't mean anything. If somebody sits with their eyes closed, people think they're meditating. But you can sit with your eyes closed for many reasons. Unable to bear the world, you can close your eyes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you may be… in yoga there are many things, you may be doing japa, tapa, dharana, dhyana, samadhi, shunya, sam samyama, we don't know what you're doing. So there is… the word meditation is not specific, it is too general and it's not saying anything in particular. Let us say if we are thinking to align the word meditation with what we refer to as dhyan or dhyana or dhyanam as you go south. <laughs> uh, because Hindi speaking people, you have a way of clipping away the words in the end. Hmm? We say Rama, you say Ram. You say dhyanam, you say dhyan. You're cutting off everything in the end, that's your option. but. If you are thinking it is dhyana or dhyana or whatever, what this means is if you sit here, if you sit here, if you clear… if you have a distinct experience that your body is here, your mind is somewhere else, what is you is elsewhere. Or in other words, there is a little space between what is you and what is your body, what is you and what is the content of your mind. Suppose this little space was achieved within you right now, would all these young boys be complaining about stress? You must do one thing. If you are an aviator, you would know this. You're driving to the airport, traffic jam, traffic jam, traffic jam. Oh, you curse everybody and honk and do all this and get there. Then you fly. Then you're flying over the traffic jam. It all looks very nice, you know <laughs> Simply because of the distance. When you are in it, it was a terrible thing. Once you're flying above it, it looks quite nice actually, traffic jams. <laughs> Once there is a little distance, that's the end of suffering. So if they… if you create a little space between you and your body, between you and your mind, this is the end of suffering. Because there are only two kinds of sufferings in your life, physical suffering, mental suffering. Do you know any other kind of suffering? Only two sufferings. If you distance yourself a little bit, that's all. Distancing is not by attitude. Anyway, these are accumulations. You gathered this body, you gathered this mind. If you keep what belongs to you one way and what is you in another way, it's taken care of. So we can teach you a simple method with which you can do this. Very, very simple process. Every human being is capable of this. Let's understand this. When it comes to external realities, all of us are differently capable. No two human beings are equally capable. When it comes to inner possibilities, all of us are equally capable. No human being has come better endowed than the other. It is just that most human beings never look in that direction. <laughs>